What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So the runoff happened last time, we pretty much covered the entirety of the French countryside with Prussian blood. It was a pretty much a whole part that was just fighting Prussian armies on the battlefield and two out of three went well, one out of three was bloody close. But apart from that, I think things are generally okay. So let's chop out them, just to finish them off. Just so there's no any no spare stacks causing trouble. Let's bring you back over here. And the job of these three stacks, well two of them will go through the, the continental direction. This guy, once he's finished off this Prussian army, will head south. And I will do an amphibious assault on... Oh yeah, I forgot I'm already at Naples. See, I'm, I'm smarter than I give myself credit for. So, probably Lante's reinforcements for these Spanish stacks that are likely going to come rampaging up from the south. Finish them off, and then attack Rome. And they also have got a few armies moving south in through this gap in the Alps. So your job is pr yeah, your job's going to go tidy up these spare Prus uh, Prussian stacks that are roaming around. We've got Prague and Dresden under siege. We're about to have Breslau under siege. Oof. And I've got this army here, kind of holding the fort in case the Spanish decide to push eastward. Wow, my game is really starting to struggle with all these armies on the field. So I need to clear some of them out. That's what I think I have to do. Cool, but I've done everything I can for this turn. Actually, let's go check on the Americas. Yes. You're still moving. You're still laying siege. France has taken Texas, it'll probably move up and hit Santa Fe. In terms of islands, everything that can be captured is captured. Good. The only hangover up here is, uh, is Spain and Iceland, but they've got quite an elite unit there, so I'm more than happy to let my, keep my fleets bottling them up um, until I can actually deal with them properly. Like once I've knocked out the centre of Spanish power. But let's head in turn. Let's see what the the response is. Oh, and those are my reinforcements for my armies fighting against the Persians. And you'll notice there is actually a region up here which has rebelled against them. So that could be a valuable region to take. Ah, so they're going to raid me? Nope, they're going to fight the Spanish. Oh no, they are fighting me. Oh, I'm going to auto-resolve that. We are victorious. Oh, yeah. I will take your four rates. Thank you very much. Sorry, Genoa. Your reign of terror is about to be at an end. And I've got the Spanish... The, the Polish rebelled against the Prussians. I think it was the Prussians. Yeah, I need to... Uh, yeah, see, I can't have these guys just roaming around the countryside being a nuisance. Aha! They're sallying out of Brussels. Let's fight. They have no fences, so it'll be a pitched battle, but I definitely want to take advantage of my artillery and just mince through them. Not want to mince through them, not mince as in, ooh, ooh, uh, misses. Mince. Uh, cover them in quick line, that's the stack, that's the, uh, that's the plan. Because they have mortars, and you guys know, should know by now, I hate mortars with a passion. So let's go Lady Montagu. Last words. And it's raining, so that will, that will make misfires a certainty. Oh, my army is slightly depleted as well, actually, so that makes it even better that I don't try push. Give them trenches to try to protect them from try to protect them from advanced artillery. Ah, oh, I have no howitzers. That's a shame. Let's... So my left flank is much weaker. And this is why they will get. Oh, anti unit grenadiers. Yes, you can go here too.
Lancer, Lancer, General. So they should be opening up on the house team, in the artillery teams. Good, we've destroyed one of their howitzers. Everyone's still shifting about. So speed up time a bit. And should I make all of my howitzers focus on one? Oh, that's another. Good. Shattered. So you focus on that artillery team. You guys on the left focus on that artillery team. They're only six pounders, so they're not the end of the world. Actually, you guys turn on shrapnel shot. Engage this light horse that's coming right for you. Good. They've changed their mind. And they've changed their mind again. Now that I've turned off shrapnel, let's just turn it on again. And then hit them. round shot again at the artillery again and now they've okay let's just hit them with round shot until they're too close to disengage with shrapnel shot that's what you get you can try jink around from side to side as much as you like Good, now engage the artillery again. And these guys, you engage the left hand artillery again. And then it's speed up till they get within range. Because here comes Mon General. Or the general, not my general. He's not my president. Okay, they're starting to get close now, so Let's shift targets. That's the mortar garrison. Yet yeah, they're going to be utterly killed. Or well, one's going to make it. Take you. Come on, you swines. You missed. How did you miss from there? Damn it. Aim at the general's bodyguard before you kill my own men. Gonna kill some of my own men. It's gonna kill a lot of theirs too. Let's 
bring my flanks into bear. Send in the general. So the other unit of cassiers, line infantry, garrison militia. Yeah, Swiss ground is chasing down. Okay, the only things remaining are their artillery, which aren't gonna like it when my cavalry make it up to them. 17, 16, 30, 11, come on. Everyone except the cavalry, you move on to hit them. The general could just mosey on past. Public and guard. Oh no, you've not finished them yet. Guards just start. Oh no, Swiss Grenadiers, that's what you were after, wasn't it? He has a banner! Got him. There you go, let's speed it up. Because this isn't. They're not going to be. They're not going to be long for this world. Continue being wary of the horsey spikes. Oh no, Mortar Garrison just ran right into them. She's down the garrison guards. Okay, so there's the spikes. So we've run past them. Let's should maybe move you over to the east. Oh no, try finish these guys off. Two, one, zero. Good. They're going to get away. Let's try to go for them as well. Just try to move my militia, my infantry out of the way so they don't get pounded by... Uh... Oh, actually, let's stop this before they all start killing themselves. It's probably too late. Yeah, it's too late. Pop. But they're going to make it. Yep, yeah, there they go. Decisive victory, however. I'll take that as a win. Warriors. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war. Nah, sometimes you just got to get stuck in, Sanzu. There we go. That's a lovely win ratio. Opportunity to intercept. Uh, I might auto that. Victory! Auto that. Oh wow, my fusiliers are starting to get a real pasting. Enemy ahoy! Wow, that is fifty-fifty. Balance of power, really. 
And this game at times, it's just, it's decision making is... Like, no, 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 no. This, this, this could go either way. Oh, that's never gonna happen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. Some credit. Sometimes if it actually represented the balance of power, then you'd never fight. Because you always go... The maths will always go your way. If you're a competent human player, then there's no reason it shouldn't. You should always be... Just in... Okay. It's like I, like I said. Let's put my artillery up on this ridge. Behind my line. I may as well make their... Mortars run out and kill me. I could probably do something smart with my sharpshooters. I don't know if that'll work. Let's find out. Ooh, let's get you out of the way. Then let's speed up. Oh, if you've got no time, it's blow a hole in the wall. Come on, mortars, abandon your guns and join your friends to in the slaughter. Be a very for blow a hole in the wall. It'll make them. It'll make it easier for them to to leave rather than getting stuck on the gate. One more volley. Done. Problem solved. Out you come. Can they hit those mortars from up here? No, they cannot. That's a shame. I've got a hole in the wall, so when we destroy their... So when we destroy their troops, we can just... Charge straight on in. Probably going to end up having to do. A shrapnel shot. Yeah, hit them with shrapnel shot. Like, it's just such a firepower overmatch. Does it mean I don't even have to be smart with what I do? Like, just aim at, like, them. Actually, let's just do this. Let's be a bit smart about it. I can't help it. You're definitely not going to do good if they're sharpshooters. If I, if I leave my general there, you'll just shoot him in the back. So they have wheeled their mortars out forward to join me somehow. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Go take him out. <laughs> Leg it past those mortars. Because, yeah, they're the only things remaining. So just smash them. Feeling concerned yet, boys? <laughs> Bash! Oh, I love all that. Back there, the officer. If you rewound it, he's looking. Over, he's looking at me with his telescope, <laughs> being like, "Hmm." Yeah, stupid battle. <laughs> Should never have had it done. But you know, sometimes there's a point where you've got so much money, casualties don't matter. Stuttgart is taken! Yep. This is what happens when you leave troops just running around your territories. They will happily, happily raid away. I forgot about you, Marathas. You're just being a nuisance. If you marched, though, in good order, you'd have caught me a bit flat-footed. Oh, yeah. Definitely stopping a rebellion. Dead. 
You're never going to rebel with that many, without that many troops. That's why I've put that army just across the river, just across the strait. So if they do push over, then at least I've got something there to hold them off. Or maybe break up their forces just a little bit. So their army's depleted, the Prussians aren't, but I may as well fight it. So let's rejig my army, so that if I did lose this army, then it would be a strong force of infantry that would move up first. Maybe die in A cavalry. Let's fight it. So I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get any sort of... some Savoy troops because I am going to have to move into their theatre of operations imminently so let's get to it I need to make sure I don't overcommit myself in so many areas okay so I've got the firepower advantage My infantry could have, could do with being stronger, but I'll take what I can get. One, two, three, up here amongst the trees to at least make it a bit trickier in the houses. One, two, three here. At least I do have lots of quick climb options. Let's put unit cover on the left, on the right, unit cover on the left. General in the centre. And some light infantry, you're just going to stand out here. Then a weak unit of foot, you're going to be like a blocker if anyone does charge through here. Fire round shot my mortars. So this is where the Prussians are going to arrive from. They're the concern because they're stronger and they're going to come in and hit my right flank. I had hoped that the Prussians might not join them. You have a bit of a surprise when you get over there, slightly. So these, yeah, these are what I'm concerned about more than anything. So I might actually curve this flank, or you know, position this flank like so. Let's probably move my crossiers over here as well. for Savoy and here come the I need, so I need to I need to knock Savoy out because the, the the Prussians are starting to mass in force Can we do 
engage those on the front. Unfortunately, the Prussians are taking their time. Do they charge in? They did. They're charging in. Come on, another cannon shot would be great. Grape shot, yeah. The light infantry's routed, that's fair enough. They're being charged by cavalry on their own. It is nice of the Prussians to be uh, taking their time. So if they give me time, I will reorientate my defences to be facing this way. Yeah, line infantry is good enough against cavalry. general going what are you doing what my boys are getting killed there you go I don't think you've got much chance of sticking around they're gonna get back into the combat He says winning decisively. Let's throw them into the mix. Let's limber up. Limber up. To be honest, just keep me moving back. See, this works quite well because it means that if, the, as their formations get broken up and stuff manoeuvring through the town, mine can stay pretty solid. over on this side because this is probably where they're going to hit us. Let's get my howitzers limber up. Which must to do what my cannon is there. So let's get my grenadiers. Ooh, it's my first reinforcement. 
Yes, first Delaware. You are going to anchor the left. One foot artillery. Yeah, you're getting in position. So they are engaging, so I do want to move my. Have you got the range to fire at them? No, not yet. So you're going to limber up two. As the remnants of the Savoy forces flee the field. Except for their general. Their general remains. What's my f this foot artillery set up? Oh, they're moving up finally. Or at least some of them are. Unlimber and your target will be that 24 pounder unit. To be honest, I might actually... Yeah, they are moving forward, so I might unlimber you. Because you can, you, can, you can start to provide useful fire. If your range is 500, their range is 600, so you can probably limber up as well. Unlimber. you up as well. I forgot all about you perched back there. They may as well open up with quick climb now because they do have targets. Good. 
good. Fire at will. Let's get my trusty airs out of the way. Smooth much be threatening. Let's take my mortar battery and let's get them to target the militia because the right flank looks like it might be a bit vulnerable. I know it's just militia, but there's a sugar load of them. Good angle for shot and shots. Let's do, let's do quick lime. Then everyone, prepare fire and pour it onto them. So who's back here guarding the artillery? General's bodyguard, second horse. 105 Zars, I've got 120 cavalry. They've put some spikes down. I'll keep my 12 pounder hitting the center. Square, maybe not quick enough. Advance up my cavalry to at the very least knock out their mortars. So, so their general's finally going to commit. To charge my cavalry and hit the general's bodyguard. as well halt and just fire at will because if I try and move my mortars anywhere I get something screws up so let's just keep my Tear that Prussian general from his chair saddle. It's not a chair, is it? Well, it's a really fancy chair. I'll give him that. Okay, so they've charged into my front rank. Fortunately, that's one of their generals killed. to the maelstrom. Off fire at will. Just charge into that unit of militia. Cavalry should be doing okay, because my guys are cuirassiers, they're choppers once they get into the melee. And we certainly are chopping our way through these hussars. General route, so just straight into them. General, chop into them. Let's immediately halt fire with all of my howitzers. Is that their quick line coming in? It sure is. We're in a very good position here to kill their general and to destroy their bodyguard or their um, cavalry. So we've lost half their numbers. We've lost about 30, about 25%. Let's 
to charge them forward. These guys are just here to make them route. I need to run my guys up to threaten their cavalry. Oh no. Howitzers threatened. Charge straight into their, f their foot howitzers. Just halt my, my foot artillery firing. Being very careful to not run into these spikes. And then I think that should be it. I do like how Napoleon has the... The symbols do change for routed units rather than ones that are active. Let's end the battle there. Poor. We should normally continue, but you know, I think. Read over and over again. Oh, sorry about that. Just punched my microphone. But yes, that's a very good win for us. And it's knocked back Savoy. And it's also... Oh, it's because we have no zone of control. But it's also knocked out that army in Marseille. So now they all think twice before pushing out of their stupid little northern Italian territory. And that's where we're going to go dig them out. So the Russians are still carrying on. But we're not at war with the Russians. Not yet. I mean, we will be. Let's be honest. Eventually, it's going to be a very, very careful allocation about how many stacks do I send north, how many do I send to take Italy, how many do I continue to push through Europe. But yeah, my plan is to knock out Prussia, form a line in Europe, and I can figure out how many stacks I want to send where, and then start to figure out how many I want to send to take Italy and do raiding in those areas and all that sort of lovely stuff. Because of right now, even though I'm not entirely sure how many armies I have. So the Russians... They saw this in their religious prophets eastward, westward, sorry. And I don't even want them. Stupid Orthodox Church. Orthodox Christianity. Yeah, they're gathering their forces, but it's not going to be doing them much good. So, as you can see, they've been absolutely pasted in the conventional battlefield, so that's why they're now resorting to raiding. Which is fair enough, I'm not after that region for its wealth, I'm after it just to deny it to them. Now the Spanish have pushed me out of their port. Oh, and I'm being attacked in the rear. And I cannot retreat, so this is going to be a very dodgy battle. Because I'm being attacked in both directions. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when we'll fight this interesting battle against the Spanish Empire. Thanks guys, see you later.